go. Oh, Monday morning. Welcome back to the channel, guys. Hope you're well. The first job that I do on a Monday morning is pick, pack, and post all of my weekend sales orders. And we've got 23 to do today. I'm gonna to do it in this video. It's something I've never done before. Hopefully you enjoy it. Uh, we've got a heap to do, so we're gonna dive into that. I've written out a bit of a to-do list last night. I came prepared for this video today. We're gonna to tick them off one by one. You're gonna come along for the ride with me today. Uh, plenty to get done. Uh, let's dive into the first task, which is picking, packing, and posting all of these orders. Let's do it. All right, so first item up, guys, is Bewitched. Uh, I've got every single season of Bewitched, and it's sold for, here it is here, $49.99. So this was a really good result. I've only paid a dollar for these each, and there are eight seasons, I think, or seven seasons all up. Um, so to get it from eight to $50 on eBay, I thought was a pretty good result. Now these ones uh, should fit in a medium satchel. Uh, if you split it four and four for the eight DVDs, uh, it'll fit in the medium satchel pretty comfortably. And that only cost me $10 to ship on the Australia Post My Business Plan. So not too bad. I've probably made about 20 to $25 with this one. Okay, the next item that we've got is The Sims 3. That one was a very cheap sale. That was a regrettable purchase in the end. Um, here it is here, Town Life stuff. So as you'll see, it's sold for $7.50, uh, which to be honest, I only paid a dollar for it and it was only selling for about $7.50. So $4.50 in a tracked envelope is how I send my DVDs and games. Uh, so in the end, I'll only make about $3 on this and I bought it for a dollar. So a bit of a waste of time, really. The next item that sold was Juiced 2. So this is a pretty good video game. These are all my video games along here, and there it is there, Juiced. So this one sold for $19.99. I think I paid about 2 to $3 for it. Um, pretty cheap. It's a good game. Goes on to sell well. Um, obviously $4.50 for post. I think I've made about $10 with this game. Um, sells well. If you do find it, it goes on to sell for a couple. All right, let's dive into the wall of books here. Now, unofficial, look at that, it's stacked up high. The unofficial Bible for Minecrafters was the next sale. So I think that one is, yep, it's just down here. Um, so this one sold for about $17, I think. Um, Minecraft is obviously a good one to get. Just generally goes on to sell well across the board. Um, when I see the books, I generally pick them up. Um, $17, it's gonna go in a $7.30 satchel with the Australia Post My Business Plan. Uh, discount applied. Um, so probably, I bought this for $2. I'll probably end up making about, about $6 to $7. So again, not a massive sale, but Minecraft definitely does sell. And there it is there guys, just a single satchel. Now I pre-purchase these, I buy them in bundles of 100 from Australia Post, keep them at the house, and then just start whacking my orders in from home. So super easy to do, pre-purchase the satchels if you're new to reselling, uh, simple way to do it, and yeah, you get them at a pretty cheap price. I think these are about 10 to 15 cents each, uh, and then you just pay for the shipping cost on top. All right, looking into the t-shirts and the jerseys now. I've been able to sell a Brisbane Lions jersey. I'll put this into the What's Sold video on Sunday, just yesterday. Uh, I know it's tucked around the back here. There it is there. So this is a 2003 Brisbane Lions uh, jersey that I had as a kid growing up. We had this at home, and uh, I just thought I could get some money for it. So I figured if I'm not going to wear it anymore, somebody else might. So $56.95, it was a free item. I made $42 on it and it sold within the space of a week and it will ship in a small satchel. So again, just another $7.32 worth of uh, post uh, and I still make $42 after fees has been taken out. So your footy merchandise, especially at this time of the year, it definitely goes on to sell. Now, just because I'm getting rid of my Brisbane Lions jersey doesn't mean I'm not a Brizzy Lions fan. I still love the team. I'm playing some very good football at the moment. I'm pretty excited about it. So yes, it's going off to another home, but I'm still very much a Brizzy Lions fan. Okay, the next item is a South Sydney's, uh, South Sydney Rabbitohs. Here it is here. So this is South Sydney Rabbitohs. I paid about $10 for this and it sold for about $48. So what size is it? It's a size 2XL. Uh, but I thought this was a really nice jumper and it's ended up making me about $25 profit. So again, very simple with clothing. You can generally fit them into a small satchel like this. Um, so yeah, $7.32, $25 profit on the South Sydney jumper. 
All right, so this one was another item that I've had just sitting around the house for so long. It's a Brixton t-shirt, size medium. There it is there. It's ended up selling for $20. Um, I just really just want to get it out the door and get rid of it. I only paid $3 at an op shop. It's sold for 20. You take out the fees and everything. I've made about $8. It's really not really worth my time. And with those sort of sales coming through to clear out old stock, it really makes you realize that buying these sorts of t-shirts don't really profit you a lot of money. So I'm not really buying that moving forward when I'm out there sourcing. Um, but at least I'm getting this one out the house and I am making a couple of bucks on it. So it's not the end of the world, uh, $8 profit. I'll whack it into a small satchel now. Have a look at all my plush toys that I've got in here. I've got way too many. I've got to stop buying the plush toys. We did have one sale for the plush toys this weekend and it was the Homer Simpson uh, Hawaiian shirt. Remember this episode where he wore this shirt? Well, anyway, I've been able to sell it for $26. So I've made about $12 profit. I think he's about a 1990 vintage plush toy. So he's kind of cool. I really like the look of him, but really I've just got to stop buying plush toys because they're not making me a heap of money and they're taking up a lot of space. But Homer's out the door this weekend, uh, $12 profit. Not too bad. All right, so we've done the plush, we've done the shirts, we've done the DVDs, we've done the games. Now we're coming outside to grab shorts and shoes. Um, so we've had a few sales in the shorts and the shoes. I just wanna see if I have, no, I don't. So let's get into those now. So these Denali snow boots are the next one. These are a men's US 9. Um, really cool pair of boots. They have been hanging around for a little bit, so I am finally happy to see them head out the door. I've sold for $46. Um, I think I could have held out for a slightly higher price on these. I've only paid $2 for them though. So in the end, I have made a $23 profit. Um, so it's not too bad. I always like to make $30 on shoes, but I probably should have held out for a slightly higher price. But in the end, 46 bucks to get them out the door. It's not too bad. Perfect fit. Next item that sold are these Adidas I5923. So, drop these down here. Here they are here. So, I bought these for $18 and they've ended up selling for $69.99. So, I'm gonna end up making myself about a $35 profit with these. Um, I'll be able to fit them again into a small satchel. Uh, I will put some uh, butcher's paper into, um, I guess, into the shoe there just to keep the shape. Um, but they do fit in satchels and I've never had any negative feedback sending them in satchels. So we'll go and do that now. So I've just got this butcher's paper that I pick up from Officeworks. Um, sometimes I can get it for free as well. Um, I'll just keep that here at the house. But yeah, I'll just whack it into there like that to keep the shape of the shoe. Um, just like I would when I'm taking my photos. Um, for a pair of shoes like this that sold for $70, I always sort of try and do this. Um, but here we go, I'll put that in there. And then from there, it just goes into a small satchel and I just fold them over like this. All right, so there were two more sales as well. We had a pair of Under Armour, which I think is in this tub here. Under Armour hovers. Um, here they are, here. That's one. The other one. All right, so Under Armour Hovers, these ones here, they've sold for fifty dollars. Um, now I had these priced out at sixty dollars because they are, they've got the Bluetooth, um, the Bluetooth chip in them. I don't know what that exactly means or what that does for you. I think it connects to an app. Um, but anyway, they're worth a little bit more than a standard shoe um, in the Hover Under Armour range. So I thought I would go a little bit higher at $60, but it just didn't end up selling or getting any traction. As soon as I dropped it down to $49.99, it sold within the space of a day. So clearly that was the right price point for it. Um, again, I'll put it into a small satchel for $7.32 uh, and get these out the door for about a, I think it was a $28 profit on these ones. So not too bad. Now I've had to dig down to the bottom tub for these, but you would have seen in my recent trip to the thrift episode, I picked up these Adidas NMDs and I was always really worried about the color. I, there's a bit of discoloration there as you can see on the back, but they've ended up going on to sell for $49.95. So I was really happy with the result on these because the color discoloration was obviously a concern, but clearly that's not been an issue when it's come to selling the shoes because I've sold in a very quick space of time. Um, only paid, I think it was about $10 for these, so I've been able to profit about $25 to $26.
Right, so we've done all the shoes. The last thing that we have to do is shorts and jeans. So let's dive into those now. So these were the next pair that sold. These were the Insight, um, I guess, jean shorts. And uh, they were 34 waist as well, size large. And they sold internationally to somebody in Greece. So they've ended up selling for $54. It cost $24 for me to send this one internationally. Now I'm not yet doing it online. I am going into the post office and filling out the satchel for international postage. I know that's probably not the most efficient way of doing it, but I'm only just starting out with international post. I'm not getting a ton of orders come in. So I'll take this to the post office, put it in a bag and send it off. In the end, I've been able to sell this for $30. I paid $5 for it. I've made myself a $15 profit. So I thought that was pretty cool. Off to Greece. All right, the next item are these Quicksilver shorts, another international sale. Um, so these Quicksilver shorts have ended up going to the UK. Um, I can't remember exactly what they sold for. I'll have to put the screen up to show you guys. Um, but a 34 waist, I'm very surprised that these actually ended up going to the UK. Um, somebody has paid $24 to have them shipped over there. So I think I would have made about $15 from memory on these shorts. But off to the UK, I'll do the same with the uh, jeans that are going to Greece. Um, just put them into the bag and do it at the post office. How good's that? In the exact same tub, I've also got these Wrangler jeans that have sold as well. So these have sold for $41. They're a 36 waist, a 34 length. Um, I would have paid maybe about $5 for these, I think. I'm generally getting my jeans for about $5 to $10. So for 41 bucks, I would have definitely made about a $20 profit on these ones. Um, a really nice pair going locally to somebody in Queensland. three items in the same tub, that's just heavenly. Um, been able to find these uh, Oakley cargo shorts a little while ago now, they're finally sold for $25. So these are items that I would never normally buy again, um, just a very slow sell through rate, and I'm only making about $10 on these ones. Uh, sold for 25 bucks, but really I'm only making about a $10 profit when it's all said and done. So I've stopped buying these sort of items, I'm reducing the cost just to get them out the door. And I've done that, as you can see today, we're up to the second last item. There's been a lot of items in this run over the weekend that have just been sort of moved on items that I wouldn't normally purchase again. Um, so it's nice to kind of clean it out. And um, I think that's a really healthy thing to do for your eBay stores. Just clean out your items that you, you, know, you no longer want. You know that you're not gonna get too much money for it. Um, better be out the door with a couple of dollars in your pocket than nothing. So these ones are out today. A $25 sale um, should make me, again, yeah, a $10 profit. And the last item of the day, guys, in the last tub of the day are these Levi Strauss 502 men's jeans. I think they're a 34 waist, no, 32 waist and a 34 length. They've sold for $37. Um, they were a little bit worn. I, I saw when I bought them just here that there was a little bit of wear on the bottom. So that's why I priced them down to that $37 price point. Um, obviously $7 in post. Um, I wanted to get about 30 bucks for them. So that was the last pair of the day for the postage run. Uh, let's get this in a satchel and get off to the post office. guys welcome to the new van houdini i've got my new houdini back i'm very excited about this guys i had my car stolen a few months ago and uh to finally be back on the road in my own car my own van i'm very happy about it guys it's the exact same car as the one that i had before 2008 uh hyundai i load it's done about 20,000 more kilometers than the uh than the other one that i had but it's got tinted windows there's a reverse camera um there's a really blacked out interior to it as well with some carpets, some marine carpet that they've laid. So I think for road trips, for surf trips, there's some roof racks on the top here as well. So there's a couple of additional features that I kind of like about this van. 
Uh, and I've got a very good deal off Facebook Marketplace as well. The minute it went up is the minute that I struck, which is what you gotta do on Facebook Marketplace. Um, so look guys, I've got a really good deal, I've got a really good van, and you're gonna be seeing a whole lot more of it. So um, this is the first trip, I've only just had it insured. I just uh, called ComBank and got insurance uh, put onto it. So I can actually now hit the road in it, which is what we're doing now. Um, so I'm gonna go to the post office. I also get it, need to get it registered into my name as well. So we're gonna go to the Department of Transport and get it registered into my name and then we are done. It is nothing but flips from now on. So I'm very excited about that guys. Um, not too far away from the post office. It's literally just two minutes away from my place, which is very handy. Uh, we'll get the post pay paid for and then um, yeah, we'll go thrifting after that. It's always a great feeling when you get the post done on a Monday. All up, that took me three hours to do, nine to 12. So it's the middle of the day right now and I do need to go and get my car registered. So we're gonna go and do that now. Uh, but the post is done, which is really good. Um, so let's get myself registered and then we'll go thrifting, see what we can find. Right, good news, the car is officially in my name. We are done, insurance taken care of, registration done. And fortunately, there is an op shop just up the road here. So I'm gonna walk across and we're gonna dive in and hopefully we can buy a really cool item. Let's see what we can get. So no luck guys with that op shop, unfortunately. Those Adidas night joggers looked a little bit interesting. They were $10, which was a fair price, but the comps on eBay were talk talking maybe about 40 bucks. So I just figured it probably wasn't worth my time. Um, probably would have made about 20 bucks from it. And I don't know what the sell rate would have been. There was only three or four comps sold. So I'll just pass on those. The uh, Curve Your Enthusiasm as well. I was missing season two. And then I had a look on eBay and there was a few more different seasons to get. You had to get nine seasons in total to get the complete set. Um, so sort of part seasons. I didn't want to not, I didn't want to get seven out of nine, um, especially not having season two. There were no sort of group of, of seasons to get there. So I just passed on that as well. So um, let's keep moving on. I've uh, obviously got the car sorted. So we'll go and do a couple more op shops and then get back home and list up our items for the day. Guys, short sharp run there. Managed to find a few things, which was uh, really good. I've got these three books here, the Mistborn series. So the author is Brandon Sanderson. There's three books here. It's a trilogy series. 
I've got every single one. Now, they go for about $50 pretty comfortably on eBay. So for $9, they so were $3 each. I ummed and ahed because when you break out the pricing, it's gonna be a $20 profit once it sells for $50. I'm confident that it'll sell for 50. So did I wanna make $20 on a set of books and go through the process of posting it? Yeah, I did. So 20 bucks hopefully coming in on the books. Um, I've also found two really good pairs of running shoes, two brands that I don't come across all too often, but I know that they go on to sell really well. Sacconi is the brand. So there it is there, Sacconi running shoes. These are a pair of women's US nine and a half running shoes and they're in excellent condition. The soles have got pretty much no wear on them whatsoever. I think I can go upwards of 60 to $65 here and off an $8 spend, that's gonna net me more closer to $40. So a really, really good pair of women's running shoes there in the Sacconi brand. Um, the other one as well that I've found is the Mizuno brand. Um, so these are a really nice pair of women's running shoes. Again, they're a size US nine and a half. I've paid a little bit more for these. These were $12. The soles aren't too bad, but I think I'd be able to get $50 for them. So 50 from a $12 spend, that's gonna be more like 28 to $30 profit. Um, definitely the Sacconis were the better pickup for sure um, at just $8. So all in all guys, I think there's at least conservatively speaking about $150 worth of resale value and I've ended up paying $29. So 29 bucks into 150, I'm probably gonna net myself about a $75 profit once it all goes on to sell. So not too bad of a run. Let's jump home. I've got a bunch of listing to do. Uh, it is the afternoon. We're talking about three o'clock now so I need to get home and do some listing to end the day. All right guys so I'm going to do my listing as well and I looked out the night before these 10 items that I want to list today. So majority of them are shoes and shoes are generally a very quick process for me. So I've looked out these eight pairs of shoes and then I picked up this in the thrift uh, not too long ago, just a couple of days ago, this Monster Energy hat that actually goes for upwards of sort of 80 to $100. So this was a really cool buy. Um, should be able to list it up for, yeah, 70 to 80 bucks. Um, and I've also found this one as well in the op shop, just a vintage um, Billabong t-shirt. So I want to see how this goes on resale value. Um, I thought it was, yeah, just a cool retro vintage print. Um, so I might list that one up as well today. Um, if I do, that'll be a total of 10 items. And then I've got a total of two extra items as backup. If I can get these done today, that'd be awesome. Um, I've got the Brisbane Lions top that I found in a trip to the thrift just on Thursday. And I've also got the wetsuit as well that I found on Thursday. So if I can get those two done and I can get these 10 done today, 12 items listed, that'd be pretty good. So that's it guys, five o'clock. We are done for the day. The last thing or the thing that I'm actually trying to start to do a little bit more of recently, is making sure that I get back into my exercise routine. So five o'clock, rather than sitting at home and continuing to list items, even though I've done my 10, I didn't get the 12 done, but I got 10 done. Um, I thought I'd break away and go for a run. So I'm gonna go and do that now. I'm gonna head down to the beach, run my 5Ks and uh, come back home, finish off those two listings that I wanted to finish. And then I should be done right on dinner. Um, so. I think that's really important. I think you've got to make sure that you are doing your social stuff, you're doing your healthy and active type stuff as well, and you're getting all your business stuff done too. So um, I'm gonna go do the run now. I'm gonna end the video right there. Um, last job of the day. Let's tick off this 5K run. Thanks for tuning in, guys. We'll see you in the next one.